What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and it's that time of the month again, it's Loot Crate time. Now I thought I'd do things a little differently this week, we will start with the regular Loot Crate, which is I think $15.99 plus my 10% discount if you decide to get it, and it gets cheaper if you do multiple months at a time. So this is the basic crate, it has the cheapest stuff in it, but I thought we would also do the most expensive crate. This is Loot Crate DX, and it is the most expensive monthly crate. Not as expensive as some of these special one-time crates like the Mass Effect Andromeda crate they're doing this month. Uh, but this is the most expensive monthly crate at $45 a month. So we're going to determine whether or not it's worth picking up uh, the most expensive crate compared to the cheapest one. And if at any point during this video you decide you want to get Loot Crate for yourself or somebody that you love, all you got to do is go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie2988, and if you do and use coupon code Boogie2988, you'll save some money and I'll make some money, but no, you never have to do that. You know, just come back next month and watch me open mine. So we're going to start with the cheaper crate this month, and don't forget, every month has a theme, and I think the theme is shared between uh, Loot Crate and Loot Crate DX this month. Uh, this month's theme is Primal, so I expect it to have at least some Wolverine item or something like that in there. Wouldn't it be cool if there was something like from like Primal Instinct or something retro like that? All right, well, right off the bat, uh, we have Old Man Logan. Yeah, I knew, knew there was going to be Wolverine in here. This thing's kind of heavy. I almost wonder if it's made. It says, it says uh, Metal... Die cast. I think this thing's actually got some metal to it. On the back here is all the different figures you could have gotten, I think, or companion pieces that you can go out and purchase if you want to. But this one, Loot Crate exclusive. Now here's a dilemma. Because this is a very popular franchise, and because this is made of metal, and because it is a Loot Crate exclusive, uh, a lot of the times these will sell for a hell of a lot more than you paid for the crate on eBay. So I really should not open this. I really should not open this. But I'm opening it. Oh my god. Wow, it really is made of solid metal. Man, I've got to tell you, I've had my dog get a hold of pop vinyls before, and what you normally get from that is a chewed up pop vinyl. If your dog gets a hold of this, you're getting a vet dental bill. Yes, this is solid metal. A very nice sculpture job and very nice paint job for being out of metal. I don't know what metal this is. I, I don't suppose it's adamantium. Here is this one's t-shirt, and I think this one's sized for my wife. I guess they did not send us the 5X this month. Oh my god, it's Primal Rage! Did I nail that? How did I nail that? Are they making a new Primal Rage game? Oh my god, it's actually Primal Rage. I swear I didn't know. I swear I didn't know when I said that. Oh man, I wish this fit. I really hope you guys are remaking this game because I love a fighting game in which your monkey can poop on a dinosaur. Alright, this seemed like a no-brainer. This is a Jurassic World related item. This is an electrified fence sign. Also made out of metal. Man, they're going for a higher quality stuff this time. And I do love this. I don't really have a fence to hang this on, but if I did, that would be awesome. I'm sure this would look awesome anywhere, though. And then this one, this is also metal. But this is a uh, bottle opener. Uh, that looks like, I'm not. if I'm not mistaken, is that supposed to be the Predator? That's obviously the Predator, right? It's a Predator bottle opener. That is weird. Everything in this crate was metal. Except the t-shirt, which would be really awkward. Here's this month's pen, and I gotta say, sometimes the pens are really weird, sometimes they're really cool, sometimes they're just logos for one of the products. This time, I don't know if this is a logo for the product, but I love it. It's a happy face pen getting shredded by some primal claws. That's my favorite Loot Crate pen that we've ever gotten. This month's box is pretty intricate too. You can actually push out a lot of this stuff and, and build this thing, but it turns the inside out to become a dinosaur. So even the box doesn't go to waste this month. I think it's pretty cool. All this stuff is made of metal, very little plastic, and, and the box turns out to go backwards. I think they've gone green. I think they've gone green, especially this box, see, because the <laughs> dinosaur is green. Ooh, do you hear that thunder? Talk about primal. <laughs> then finally, there's this month's book, which shows you all the different stuff that you could get. Well, look, there's even variations of that that you could get from that loot crate. We got the old man, Logan. Um, and of course, this month's mega crate, with, oh, Overwatch Collector's Edition of this cool statue. Oh, my God. Oh, we never win the Mega Crate. Of course, we're not eligible, but still. So not a lot of variety in this month's uh, box. Certainly, you got the uh, Loot Crate pin. You've got the, the bottle opener. You've got the cool wall art the, the sign. you got the really cool T-shirt. And then I think the piece of resistance, as usual, and I think they knew this was going to be, was the Logan tie-in. And I love this. Uh, not too bad for 15 bucks. Especially considering t-shirts my size are normally like 25 bucks and up. It's a lot of cloth. 
But that leads us to the question, is Loot Crate DX worth the upgrade? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, well, I can definitely say I think the toys must be worth the upgrade. Here we are, starting off with probably right off of the shelf somewhere, but it says Loot Crate exclusive, so maybe not. This is a Predator Jungle Demon Predator. Wow. I really shouldn't open this, but I'm going to. Here it is on the back of the box. It changes colors like the chameleon. It uses the jungle. Here's this little backpack, which I've not bothered to put on, but look at the actual figure. This figure is badass. Because I guess he's supposed to be like kind of camouflaged, so he's partially invisible, and then partially looks like the jungle. That is a, a really cool figure. I don't know if I can get him to stand up on his own. That's the problem with a lot of action figures, but I did it! Ta-da! Yay! Here's something from Kong Skull, I Skull Island. Here is something from Kong Skull Island. I still haven't seen it yet. It's a ceramic mug. I will tell you, Loot Crate DX, and sometimes Loot Crate itself, if you subscribe to Loot Crate, let me tell you something, you will, after about a year or two, have the nerdiest mug collection in the world, including this monkey head. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that is terrifying. Look, I don't want to terrify anybody out there, but, but they, there are videos on YouTube that you can see of people eating monkey brain, which is a delicacy for some very weird uh, groups of people, and this is always going to make me feel like I'm eating monkey brain. Oh, God. Oh, God, I love it. It's very macabre, but I love it. Another action figure, this time Godzilla. Reactor Glow Godzilla. What? Does this glow in the dark? It glows in the dark! Now, growing up, Godzilla was easily one of my favorite things in the world. Oh, I'm missing his tail. Where's his tail? There it is. <laughs> okay. But growing up, Godzilla was easily one of my favorite uh, franchises. I can't seem to get the tail to stick in, um, but I'll work on that. But pretty decent figure. Pretty cool. I like the fact that it glows in the dark, but it's a little small for Godzilla. I don't suppose this is how the tail is supposed to go. No, that's, that, can't be, that can't be right. Here is a special edition comic. And I, I say comic, but it's thick enough to where I guess these days these are visual novels, though. This is how thick some comics were when I was growing up. But this is a Loot Crate edition of Animal Man. That's kind of cool. And finally, here's the pen. And it's just like I said, sometimes the pen is just a really cool logo. And a Predator pen is very, very welcome. Uh, and this month's little pamphlet that shows you all the different stuff that you got. And uh, over here on the back is another Mega Crate. Great. Now there's two Mega Crates we'll never win. Yay. And that's Loot Crate DX, and obviously you got bigger stuff and higher quality stuff and more stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's a better value than the regular crate or not, but I do know that in a few minutes I'm going to go eat cereal out of my new mug and pretend it's monkey brains. But if you decide that you think Loot Crate is a good value, don't forget all you got to do is go to lootcrate.com slash boogie2988. Use coupon code boogie2988, and if you do that, you'll be helping supporting me and my channel. But no, you never have to do that. You can always just come back next month and watch me open mine, and then some of the really cool stuff that we get will appear on the shelves here behind me. Uh, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. And for the Loot Craters, I'll see you next month.